Hello everyone, welcome to Anne's Sleep, a whole you social talk show series. My name is Tommy Licatese. For this multi-part series in which we discuss the lifestyles that can impact our sleep health, I have the pleasure of hosting endocrinologist Dr. Anastasios Meneses. Today we'll be discussing fitness fundamentals and sleep. Welcome Dr. Meneses. Uh, so what is cortisol and what is its role on our, in our bodies? Cortisol is a very important hormone. Uh, associated with the ability to um, uh, to maintain a normal blood pressure, which is called uh, homeostasis, to be able to fight infections, to be able to um, uh, uh, ensure that our body will not go into a starvation mode when we're not eating. So cortisol is very important when it's uh, under normal uh, levels. However, when cortisol levels goes up, then cortisol can become uh, detrimental because it, it, it really increases uh, glucose uh, or causes glucose uh, metabolism abnormalities leading to higher sugar levels, uh, increasing insulin resistance. That insulin resistance is an important aspect of metabolic, um, uh, um, metabolic syndrome, eventually leads to high blood pressure. Uh, to uh, elevated cholesterol and triglycerides. And in that case, cortisol can also increase our cravings, which leads to a reciprocal effect in terms of gaining more weight. So we just have to be careful that uh, we keep our cortisol levels under normal ranges and not try to um, fluctuate them as much as we can. How does lack of sleep affect cortisol? Normal sleep pattern? keeps the levels at normal circumstance, at normal concentrations. Mm -hmm. But when you definitely have a uh, uh, sleep apnea associated with um, hypoxic events, then you, you have to realize the body has to respond to that. And cortisol is one of the hormones that needs to go up. Okay, it has to fight what's going on. Okay, and has to maintain what? The blood pressure. Okay, so uh, however, from that protective mechanism, to what happens chronically after a long period of time, all this apneic episodes that happen with sleep apnea contribute to a chronic increase in our cortisol levels, which have all the metabolic effects that I mentioned before. So what are the tips that you would recommend for anybody who's looking to manage this increase in cortisol levels? I will tell them to eat as early as possible. Okay, uh, avoid uh, high carb intake uh, in their dinner. Uh, avoid um, bedtime snacks that have uh, uh, that are associated with uh, high carbohydrates, and um, try not to drink for a couple hours before. Of course, don't have any uh, any caffeinated products that can uh, propagate uh, uh, an insomnia overnight. And um, I think patients really appreciate the fact that when they eat earlier, they feel much better the morning uh, of the next day, which is associated with a better metabolism and a better sleeping pattern overnight. And uh, eventually, if, they have, if we consider having sleep apnea, I will definitely consider a, a, a better way of uh, reducing this chronic cortisol elevation in the body by treating the actual sleep apnea either with a CPAP machine or with um, uh, an oral appliance that uh, will make patients uh, sleep uh, much more uh, productive. And uh, I think that's a very important aspect of this. Great, thank you. Well, that completes this episode of And Sleep, a whole youth social talk show series with Dr. Manessis. We encourage you to explore the rest of the episodes and visit wholeyou.com to learn more about sleep breathing disorder treatments. The sleep professionals in this video series teamed up with Whole You to spread healthy sleep education across America and were paid for their appearances.